come back. Problem 30 is an interesting radical equation. So for this problem, we can apply a few methods to find x value. However, in the video today, I will show you the trigonometry method. Now, let's get started. First of all, we have to rewrite the equation. We have the square root of 1 minus x plus 1 multiplied by square root of 1 plus x minus 1 equal to 2x. When we have the problem under the even radical, we have to put the condition for the x value and in this case, we can easily to see that x is between the range of the negative 1 to 1. So that's either 14. And the next is we try to think how to apply the trigonometry method in this problem. 14, we have to recognize something from the equation. We have this expression 1 minus x and 1 plus x. Imagine if we square both expressions and sum all of them together, we will have the value 2. Let's remember about the trigonometry formula. We have something similar with sine a, sine square a plus cosine square a is equal to 1. The difference is only about the value here. This is 2 and this is 1. So we have to put that 2 become 1 the same as the below one. It is really simple, we just uh, divide it to side of the equation by 2. Then it will become square root of 1 minus x over 2 square plus square root of 1 plus x over 2 square equal to 1. Now you see that that is very same form with this one. It means you can put the substitution variable under this exception and this exception. Try this with sin i equal to square root of 1 minus x over 2 and cosine x equal to square root 1 plus x over 2. Remember that the condition of psi a and cosine, sorry, let's see, uh, cosine a, psi a and cosine a is less or than or equal to 1 and ratio equal than 0. So by this, we put it 2 and this is 1 from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 we rewrite the equation under the substitution then we have the square root of psi i is plus 1 square root cosine a minus 1 equal to 2 to cosine uh, square a minus 1 so now you see the completely new equation with only contain the 
trigonometry uh, like the side A and the cosine the next is you can factorize that equation into a few factors let's try it that's it side A that's one the square root of cosine A minus one equal to two the square root of cosine a minus 1 multiplied by square root cosine a plus 1 and you see that's the same thing on the left side and the right side of the equation we wrote that together by this expression then you will have the sorry multiply square root of sine a minus plus one minus two square root of cosine a minus two equal to zero so then we have two case of the value here the first is cosine a equal to one over square root of 2 the second is 2 root of sine a is equal to 2 square root of cosine a is plus 1 for the first case you can easily to replace it back to the substitution and x would be equal to 0 for the second case you should um, square both sides of that because side a is greater than 0 cosine also greater than 0 so it's the uh, 5 to square root both sides of this equation that would be 2 sin square a equal to uh, this is 8 cos square a plus 4 square root of 2 cos a plus 1 and this will be equal to 2 minus 2 cos square a equal to cosine square a plus cosine a plus 1 and uh, now you will see something similarly as the variety equation equal to 0 now you should uh, show this uh, to be clear we'll put uh, another substitution here k equal to cosine a that would become 10k square plus k minus 1 equal to 0 and from this uh, one relative equation we can easily to find the root of that that is the two root the first is k equal to uh, negative square of 2 over 2 the second is k equal to square root of 2 over 10 so the first value we rejected because k is equal to cosine it, it have to be greater um, equal to zero so it's out of the range we check in so we select the second case and by this 
we reply it back to the exception here so it's mean one plus x over two equal to square root of two over ten then it's mean one plus x square root one plus x equal to one point five one over five so it's mean x equal to one over twenty five minus one equal to negative twenty four over twenty five we check this value back to the first condition of x that is less than one or greater than negative one that satisfies the condition so finally finally we have two uh, root of this equation that is x equal to zero and x equal to negative 24 over 25 so that is the way how we apply the trigonometry method to solve this kind of uh, radical equation uh, in uh, another word we can apply this way um, for another form of the equation uh, if you can recognize that um, formula or another similar formula in the geometry and not only this way for this equation you can uh, apply another way by putting the substitution and combine this equation into the system equation and so that system so that's it thanks for watching see you later bye